All right, guys, we're playing Renekton top lane today with all of the buffs and everything. We're playing Renekton versus an auction top, and for the runes, we're running Conquer, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Scent, specifically Demolish, and then most importantly, we're running Second Wind in combo with D Shield since we're running to ranged. Now, Renekton is finally back. As promised, whenever he would receive a big buff, which is today, by the way, I would actually make a video about him. He's finally back within the meta. And in case you're wondering like what they buff, they basically buff everything from Q to E to R. Lots of things to bring him back. If you want the super specifics, you should check out the patch, but we can talk about it. Anyways, the way how this matchup is going to be played out is simple. I'll let Auction do his thing. We actually have a new new in this game. If you pay close attention to my John, he's pathing from bot lane to top lane. And we have the perfect pick here. Because even though Auction is ranged, I have the uh, healing combo. And the most important thing, we're going to be wrecking him with Nunu. Lots of perma CC. I can dash into him, pop in the CC. Auction's biggest weakness are juggle ganks and CC. So one or two ganks and I'll just be obliterating the entire laning phase. I think maybe that's why he also ran. Uh... It's probably why Auction has TP. I would assume. It would be funny to see him go for Ignite or something else. Really makes sense in my eyes. So we see a smart guy right here. Got most of these. Yeah, you can see he's not really autoing as much. It's just the matchup just doesn't allow it. Miss a few here, but that's okay. So now we're going to start into getting into the point where we can play aggressive because the wave was previously pushing into me. Now it's actually pushing into auction, which is insanely good in my position because that uh, allows me to dash up to him and actually apply my stun. Let's keep going in. I'll take any damage I can get. Very good. So you can see despite a ranged matchup, I'm actually winning pretty hard. Mm, it's not going that way. Sure. Nice. Amazing. Now we shove this out and then we go back. I'm like very... Like something that I have to admit is like I'm very used to playing Renekton going for Ignite. So having TP basically means slightly less damage but more survivability. So it's not that bad. Um... Let's see here. So for the item build, there are lots of options available at the moment, but the one that I always encourage at any given moment would always be Sundered Sky as a first item. Then again, it's more like a save option. So um, another way of like building Renekton, which I personally really like, is either going into Blade of the Rune King or specifically going into Eclipse. Now, both are different. Like Eclipse is really good for going for a trade, then popping the shield in. Being able to tank the damage in general, just have a bit of a more safe playstyle. Um, Blade of the Rune King is basically the complete opposite. Um, this is pure damage, which is super well for all inning. So they're both different. We're playing the game with, um, by the way, with Conquer, not with the PDA. PDA is nice if you um, if you go for the Blade build. Then again, both are really fine for that build. It might even be Blade of the Rune King. It really depends on how hard I snowball lane. Because Blade of the Rune King, specifically into auction, is not the, the smartest choice. They don't really have tanks in their comp. Let's see if I can pop in a combo here. So whenever he gets close range, I will immediately be looking to see if I can do like an EQ on him. Nice. I keep slow pushing. Most important mechanic or... Well, mechanic. Wave management is always slow pushing. Because if you slow push, it gets you the ability to rotate. It gets you the ability to get more item advantage. There are lots of good reasons for um, playing it out like this. I might actually... Nice. Not the best combo. I would always prefer getting an, like an empowered Q version. But... I had to stun him before he actually gets out. Because the chance of him, like, 
dashing out is very likely with E. I have to try and avoid it in some way. All right, let's go back here. Now for the build in this game, just to showcase, like usually I really like Blade as I mentioned earlier. Sundered Sky is nice if you want a safe laning phase, but that's not something that we actually need here. What we're actually going to do instead is go for Eclipse. This item is absolutely fantastic in my opinion in lane because it's so easy to proc Eclipse when you play Renekton. And it's an extremely aggressive version for snowballing the lane here. Now check this out, right? I have more items than Auction right now. This should be a good run for me. All I need to do is thin out the wave here. I need to make sure it stops pushing very hard into me so that we can force Auction to stay in the lane, okay? This might be a good fight. I would prefer going for ult, but I'm still not doing that because there is actually a chance where he just escaped because my, all my abilities are on cooldown. Wait, hopefully we don't lose too much. Very good. And we got plates. This is where Demolish like uh, plays the game out. This is why I love Demolish on Renekton so much. Let's see if we can prevent him from uh, getting back here. Oh, he's going that way. Not the best old combo, in my opinion. Let's go. And we got him. I oh, got a run from that one. Hmm. I still have TP. So, I'm okay. This is worth if I can catch him. Hmm, or we don't catch him. That's an option. It's fine. Whatever. We get another shelf for free. It's okay. The Yasuo kill is actually not going to impact my game. It's fine. Something rare to see, by the way. Actually, a Yasuo jungle popping off. That's very new to me. Very rare to see, by the way. go back top lane so again um, this is not really a position where I would encourage anybody to go for a teleport because if I do so there's nothing that I gain from teleporting if I can make it back to lane before losing a last hit it's not worth teleporting for unless you're trying to force your opponent to stay in lane um, for item advantage so I don't have a real reason to TP right now it's better to, to save the TP for a much better time to do it Let's see. The wave is pushing in my direction, which is exactly what I need because I'm currently one level ahead of them. I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to walk that direction. Ah, <laughs> he knows he's dead, so he's just giving up. <laughs> he knows he's dead, so he just gives up on it. Beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. He recognizes it. Good shove. I'm just not going to use my W there because I want the empowered ability ready for when I actually get ganked by somebody. I think I could proc this because I don't think he has enough damage. There you go. That's the power of having Steel Caps, Dawn Shield, plus having Second Wind. Because if Auction tries to auto me, he will do basically zero damage. I'll just be healing back everything. That's the... Uh, advantage nice combo again a pretty fancy one I think I could probably fit in a nice combo again because I don't know if he re it realizes I'm still in here okay that's fine I'll just be healing back with the D shield second wind I could maybe re-engage once more we have two people coming top lane which is amazing let me just auto a couple times. Okay, I'll walk away. I want this auction to move up to me more, uh, a little bit closer to me. Yeah, my teammates are on the way. 
So I hope it's going to work. Nice. I just hit R. Should be alive. And let me just proc the Demolish as well. And I guess I'm going to die. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead, but I did get Demolish proc. TP from Orianna too. Whatever. Okay, I've got my Eclipse. The next item that I would highly encourage to anybody building right now, uh, it can't be two things. You can go into Tiamat and then specifically into Titanic Hydra, which is actually a really good build right now. I really like that. You can also go into Sun of the Sky and Black Cleaver. But I really like Titanic Hydra in specific. This item is amazing because it makes you super tanky and it also gives you the um, auto reset. I think I might go Sun of the Sky here. I think I might go Sundered Sky, because it might just be the perfect build here. I'll use the TP. The wave is pushing into me. Sure, you jump away. I'm going to be freezing this. There's not much more advantage I can gain here at the moment. Let's hold it to the right side so I take slightly less damage. Good. I just want to force draw Akshan into a position where he must walk into me. This is definitely the best way to do that. Now we just have to wait carefully. It should be back on cooldown. Yeah, there it is. He'll probably back off, I assume. Yeah, it's going to back off over there, sure. Let's uh, push next wave. He seems to be still here, actually. That's interesting. So there could be other people. Let's charge my... Uh, charge this thing up so I can have the empowered ability ready. I think I might dive him, but... Hmm. Got him. Use my ultimate halfway through. They'll do fine. Yasuo is in bot lane, good to know. I still think I might stay around just one more. Because three people bot lane, one guy mid. There is nobody here at the moment, which means I can just get another wave for free. Yeah, there you go. I'll walk away from this one because I suspect that the enemy mid lane is actually moving top lane to try and kill me at the moment. Uh, Yasuo seems to be chasing me down too, and I think he might even dash across the entire wave to try and catch me, so I'm running for my life right here. Both Yasuo and Orianna this game, they're both way more fed than I am. And especially talking about mid lane, that guy is worth like over a thousand gold. We gotta see if we can actually kill that guy at some point. That's going to be an important play because that's like several kills right there. Uh, let's see right here. So I'm going to move mid. I'll just take the... I'll probably end up like taking the farm or not. Nah, never mind. So we have to see if we can kill auction again. The thing is that the uh, dragon is currently up there. It would be a better choice. There's Orianna up here. Hmm. I think that Camille can likely just kill him for free. That's a Camille ultimate coming up soon. Oh, you can jump in. Oh, Camille has the ultimate in like five seconds. Hmm. Very missed opportunity right there. Unfortunately. The four people are showing, so I can shove, th shove out this part too. No surrender. I can carry this game, even though my entire teammates are all losing. I'll just ping like uh, two million times. I want my teammates to be aware that this is actually a play that we can do.
shutdown goes to the support. Man, that's got to be the most tilting thing I've ever seen. Because that guy was worth 1,000 gold. 1,000 gold. That's a lot of gold. I wish that I had it, man. Would have been way better. But yeah, it's fine. Got him. He's trying to make it through the portal and it's actually not working. That is so funny. League of Legends. Let's go, man. That portal has some serious like problems, by the way. I know exactly what that means. Like I have that same thing too sometimes where I just click on the portal and it's like canceling like 5 million times. I've had that happen on me before. I got this game and I'm just motivating my teammates to play this one out because I'm pretty sure that I stand a good chance at turning the game. Okay, let's go back here. We got 2.5k, which means we're going to go into Sundered Sky and then we probably go into Titan Kaijo. We can go into a Shoujin. We have plenty of options here. I really like Shoujin as a third item in this game. So I'm not going Titanic. I'm actually going into this one because um, with the Shoujin, I can lower everything. I can stay alive longer, especially into their team comp. Orianna still seems to be worth a lot of gold, which is actually quite funny. Uh, does not have ultimate, unfortunately. I don't think that we're going to be able to catch. Okay, we actually do. Nice. Is there more I can get? Nice. Amazing. Let's go quickly back top lane because top lane is getting absolutely wrecked. Hey, Azzy, thanks so much for the subprime. Thank you for supporting me with the subprime, uh, sub man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Auction has no chance against me. I'm like two levels ahead of him. There is a Yasu in my jungle. So we can't overextend too far. So let's just shove this out and then see if we can rotate. I think that Yasu should be here somewhere. Should be. Oh, there's like several people. So we're not entering that one. Doesn't seem like a good choice to me. We have TP backup, which is awesome. That means we can push top lane, consistently play against auction. And then when the, uh, when the time is right, I can just TP. Make a play for my team. Uh, it's too tough to beat this. I don't know if he saw me. Uh, this is going to be an impossible fight. Not a chance that we actually get to live through this one. Unbelievable. The ash arrow was so clean. <laughs> the ash arrow was flying from like here to here. <laughs> nice. That was such a clean... Ash arrow. <laughs> Absolutely outplayed. Okay, we're gonna push this out as hard as we can because the dragon is available at the moment. So we gotta be uh we gotta be fast here. Good push. Those are like the dream uh, dream games where you have like an ash arrow flying across the map and then hitting somebody. I love when that happens. That's always awesome to see. This might be possibly a catch. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if this is going to work out because Yasu just seems to be too strong. So it's better to back off entirely. That Yasu has the ability to 
walk at me and then just simply auto queue until I die, which is kind of annoying. He's very strong. Kind of impressed how strong a Yasu jungle can be, by the way. I don't see Yasu jungle like ever. It's actually quite rare to see. Uh, Yasu's missing. Definitely not walking in. Oh, he's actually back in top lane. Nice. She basically pushed me back into her with that ultimate over there. That changes everything. I, I think if she didn't pr press R right there, I think I wouldn't have killed her, I think. I don't think I would. I don't think so. Uh, Black Lever it is. That's going to Black Lever. I need, uh, I need the effect from the Black Lever and then Titanic Hydra at the end. To maximize my damage. My TP is available so I can rotate any given moment to help out my team. I think I should be able to 1 versus 2 right here. Or not. Maybe it's slightly too difficult. These guys are kind of fed. I think these guys are aware where I'm standing. That's why they're backing off as soon as I'm standing around the corner. Yeah, Yasu seems to be rotating too. Oh. Yeah, nice try. You, they definitely knew where I, where I was standing because Yasu was moving to a bot lane as well. Nox is going back there. There could be a Yasu inside the brush right here. I'm not entirely sure if this is the right call to do so. It's better to back off. Because if you don't have proper vision on where they're, on where they're standing. And of course they can't be here too. Which means I can't overextend. Let's see if I can maybe farm the jungle camp right here. Can I get it? Yeah, they're not here. I hope that somebody's gonna be balling, but I can't. Ooh, I, I was gonna say I kind of doubt it, but like I'm actually seeing auction. This might be a kill here. Who knows? Oh, he jumped all the way over there, so he actually managed to get out completely. This is perfect. This will change the game. This will completely change the game. Hmm. Well. If we actually had my team still alive, we'd be doing Baron right now. Yeah, I walk away from it. Doesn't seem winnable to me. I need like 70 for my black lever, so we're not that far away anymore from getting my next item. Let's get back. Okay, we're gonna go into uh, Titan Kytra as the final item. Which, again, is going to make us more tanky. It will provide the Titanic Hydra auto um, for the auto attack reset. Also, it just works inside the combo very well. You'll see. Maybe we can make a nice little play right here. We actually got Ash in bot lane split pushing, which is terrible. This guy is completely at the risk. Uh, 
Um, I think that he's aware of where I'm standing. I just feel like he knows. Oh, uh, there seems to be vision out here. Nah, uh, they seem to be well well aware of like where we're where we are again. I was kind of hoping that Camille would step in front of me so I can, you know, not tank the entire auction combo. I think I'd be alive right now if Camille just walked in there, just tanked it all. Would have been way better. But yeah, whatever, I guess. Um, we have a choice to make. So, do we go into Blade of the Room King or do we actually end up going into a Titanic Hydra? It's actually a hard choice I have to make because they're both really nice. I think it's probably going to be a Titanic Hydra. I think so. I think this item is honestly perfect here. Because again, you get like 550 HP more. Always appreciate it. I'll take it. Okay. We're going to be... Probably running towards mid. And from mid lane, we will decide where we go. Bot lane's already being shoved in. Uh, top lane is being pushed way too far, so it doesn't make any sense to go top lane. Oh. Change of plans. Seems like auction's going top. I love how we're actually still holding this game. My entire team is all losing. Everybody is super losing the game. And we're still here. We're like the, the guy to like hold the game. <laughs> It's still being played out afterwards. So nice. Uh, Auction's here. Auction is here somewhere. Mm. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. He wasn't alone. I was thinking, you know, maybe if I see this guy and this guy here, there's a, a, like a small chance that there will be somebody else. Still turns out Yasuo was actually in the jungle. I don't think Nunu can make the ch uh, make the difference. <laughs> Full AP Nunu. <laughs> Full AP Nunu doing his job here. This attack speed is crazy, man. Yasuo jungle is actually surprisingly good in my opinion. Weirdly enough. He's, yeah, he's got like a tanky build. Well, GG, I guess. Hey, this is Renekton Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.